Hey guys and welcome back to another one and as promised here we are with the how to centralize our Kodi library on a network attached storage solution such as this one that I've got right over here the Kinap 231 plus and before we begin the video would just like to mention that a few weeks ago I did share how to do this with only an Android TV box and I'll post the video right over here and this particular video will be very important because uh, there will be a few things that I did mention there and I will not uh, show you how to do here so I don't repeat myself especially for those that follow the channel and I don't want to keep this video uh, more boring than it actually needs to be now that being said guys let's go straight for it hope that you enjoy it and as always I'll see you in a few seconds And we are back. So before we begin uh, with all the steps necessary, this is the Kinap 231 Plus. I did not review this particular NAS on my uh, channel, but I did review a couple of Kinap uh, units and the software is very similar, actually the same. And I'll post the link right over here. The only thing that changes is that this unit at this moment is running uh, the latest firmware available for Kinap, but uh, it is very similar. Now, starting uh, with this tutorial, once we have the KeyNap uh, connected, we have to go to our dashboard and once we are uh, inside the dashboard, the first thing uh, that we need to do is go to the App Center and we will find a lot of apps that um, that we can install as some of you might have seen on my in-depth review of the dashboard uh, and um, at this moment the only app that I want to install is PHP my admin as you guys can see on screen just press that button and install but um, before we move on just want to uh, give a shout out to Kinap because one of the things that I do love on these units is that we have a lot of choice and a lot of features that we can use now getting back on track once we have PHP my admin installed uh, we have to go to the control panel and then applications and we need to enable the SQL server and um, we also need to enable TCP IP network and once we have that done we just need to press apply and that is it uh, all we need to do next is to launch PHP my admin and um, we to log in we need to put uh, the user root and then the password admin which is the default uh, by the way if we forget the password and if we want to reset we can just go back to control panel apps and then uh, we can reset that password uh, but we can also create any user with any password uh, so that we don't forget now Having that said, uh, for this particular tutorial, we, all we need to do is to create one particular user and that one uh, will be called Cody, as we did see on the previous video and the password for that user, it's also Cody. Now, all we need to do next is to grant all privileges and uh, uh, global privileges and then press on the button go and that is it. We have a new user named Cody. Uh, which uh, we will um, be able to access from our devices either Android OS 10 or Windows machines with Kodi installed. Now on the next step we will need to create something that we did on the last video which is to create the advanced settings XML. Once again check out the video I did a detailed step-by-step uh, -step on how to create it and once you have created that file all we need to do is to point out the IP address to our NAS uh, in my particular case is 192.168.1.4 and I need to change those two values and I would advise everyone to use a uh, static IP instead of a dynamic IP for the NAS unit so that every device uh, can find it out and once I do change that IP address uh, I need to save the file and then I can deploy that file on any device that has Kodi it can be an Android device, a Windows, OS X um, Raspberry Pi and so on and so forth. I did also cover on that video over there how to deploy this file on Android OS 10 Windows depending uh, on the operating system there will be a different location to place it but what this file will do is will 
target the device to read the library from or the information library from the uh, NAS or the device that is uh, using the PHP server. Now, finally, just to check if everything is working fine, my advice is to, uh, once we have the advanced settings XML file on a device, we just need to open Kodi. And if everything is working fine, we will check out on our PHP My Admin that there will be two new tables created, one called My Videos and one called My Music. And that uh, just means that Kodi or that device in particular has full access to the Kodi library and any change that we do on that device will uh, will be centralized on this library and then if we have five or six other devices on, on our network everything will be centralized for example one series that we start watching today and uh, tomorrow we will um, want to keep watching where we stopped on a different device then it will work fine just as Netflix and so on and so forth and that is it guys as you could see it was very simple to uh, centralize our library even simpler than what we did on Android TV boxing to be honest my favorite setup it is this one because this one here I can centralize not only the information but also the um, library itself, my movies at this moment. I've got two Toshiba's N300, four terabytes each, right over here, that I did uh, review a few days ago, and probably you already have watched. So I can have everything in just one place. I can shut down every single machine, and any media player that I've got on my network will only access NASH, which is something that consumes low power. And that is it, uh, guys. This is it. Hopefully, uh, you've enjoyed the video, and hopefully, it was useful in some way. And if it was, don't forget that usual thumbs up. My name is Roberto George and as always, I'll see you on the next one.